Hello everybody, it is Thursday, that means Monster Strike news, so without further ado, let us get going. Um, of course the 20th is Monster Strike Day, so you get the opportunity to pick up a Tokudama for the upcoming event, which we will talk about in a bit. Uh, you also get a EXP ticket, which is always nice, as well as two Eroberu Bells if you happen to have three or more lucky monsters. Um, of course, picking up that Tokudama and not forgetting about that is very good. Also, since uh, we now have the debut of Kicho available, you get the alternate strike shot voices, which is paid for just five luck. Uh, very simple. If you want to hear some nice other lines for uh, her, it will be available for three sessions. So the 20th and 30th of December and the 10th of January will be your three opportunities to pick that up. Also, we've got Abby's uh SP item available for his quest. That means it's been a whole year since he was debuted into the game. Um, his SP item gives you double damage to his weak point, to, or twice as much as usual um, than the normal multiplier you get. So it'll make his life, your life easier if you still need to farm. Uh, his next session will be on December 20th, 5 p.m. Japan time. All right, we also are getting a new Impossible Kai, and that features Malkuth there um really nice art i think he has that nice blue eyes going for him too um those are the sub bomb combos that you can try to farm for him but again you know really do you use him probably not the um you know sub bomb combos are always a little bit nerfed so um uh, don't be too excited about them um uh, but if that's something you want to have content for you be you um and of course, the fabled Christmas Alpha series is a reality. They will be coming starting the 17th of December, which is, oh my god, it's almost here. Um, so I guess we will be seeing some gacha videos soon. Uh, be careful though, remember, we do have the end of the month um, coming up with not only the New Year gacha, but all of the other tempting gachas that will come along the way. Uh, the three monsters that are getting the alpha treatment are, uh, well, we'll just go one by one, right? So first one is going to be Martha Alpha here. She is in the fire element in her alpha form and her abilities is Super Null Warp, Minesweeper M, Wood Resist, Super Strike Shot Turn Reducer. On the main, on the gauge we get Null Speed Down Wall and Status Effect Inner Strength M. St strike Shot is a 16 plus 8 speed and power up and a, now this is important, the defense down is to herself but in return she gets Super Counter Mode. Uh, super counter mode of course gives you the full damage on the counter mode rather than your usual half damage so definitely nice to see uh, bump combo is a super rankidan which is random directions everywhere but it does pack a punch if it hits big if um, also the other bump combo is a super strike shot turn reducer bullet which is new I believe in the super form so um, I'm sure that will do a insane amount of damage if you can direct remember it's kind of like a dunk style where the direction you bump into her is the direction that bullet goes and any friendlies in the way will get their strike shot uh, count reduced all right the next alpha monster is I guess you can always peek uh, right there is going to be Shenong Alpha. Uh, come on, there we go. Uh, Shino, if you want to pronounce it Japanese way, and she is a wood type in her alpha form. She is a Pierce Blast type with no gravity barrier, super no damage wall, super no warp, and status effect resist. Strike shot is an eight plus eight, and she has that fabled creating a clone of herself on the first enemy you touch. And then if you hit that clone, it will also activate her bump combo as if it was Shenong Alpha to begin with. Uh, her bump combos, which will be important here, is going to be the Chozetsu Pierce Spread EL3 along with the Super Crossway. Very strong bump combos. Um, that's going to be a nice uh, strike shot, which again, it only costs 8 plus 8. So uh, you can turn that out pretty fast. And, uh, um, you know, we've got three nulls two of them being supers as well as the ability to uh, resist status effects not bad at all then the last monster that is getting the alpha treatment and she is going to be a light version is going to be newton alpha and i think the art looks amazing as well um and her abilities can be the found as the following we've got minesweeper el counter slayer Laser Barrier Slayer, Right Position Slayer, which is new, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. If you split the screen in half, 
uh, vertically, the right side, you will be doing slaying damage to it. Uh, you also get super null speed down wall as well as drone breaker. Uh, well, we'll talk about that in a bit. Strike shot is 8 plus 8. You can turn into a pierce, but the first time you hit a wall, you turn back to a bounce. And the bomb combo is an all enemy super lightning and the Hoden discharge, which is always nice to see. So, I mean, again, you might you might balk a little bit. We've got just two nulls, which is Minesweeper and Speed Down Wall. But those three Slayers is very interesting. You get all of those stacked up on each other. Ooh, you're doing a good amount of damage and always interesting to see drone break break again because that's, um, um, uh, 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 that's an ability that you know went extinct for quite a long time so we'll have to see if we're going to start to see an insurgent of these guys and see if maybe those drone breakers will come in handy again but yeah those are your three uh alpha monsters for the year now i mean they do seem pretty strong overall we can stock out game with to see how really good they are uh, but they're certainly not nothing to just completely ignore uh, but again i'm not the best person to evaluate these monsters so we'll just have to wait and see how the pros look at it all right so what's next oh yeah we got the event monsters uh we've got busherno as the light monster uh and again, like these kind of like events where they have like plays on names, I really have a hard time translating them. So I did the next best thing and just give up right away. All right. So uh, now we've got uh, the water monster. We've got Yuki Darumia. Uh, of course, we got that's Yuki Daruma is of course a what snowman, and then it's a cat, so you get the nya sound there. So. Uh, get that combo there and you've got Lee's look there on the right um, not sure where the look comes from but obviously it's a play on the word for the wreath uh, so very festive name there so uh, now what's also interesting is with this event that you will be able to earn presents by clearing these quests and these presents sure have some nice items in them um, we can take a look at what the items have in store here but um, there are four different colors. We got red, purple, green, and white, and each of those colors have the respective items you see in them. Now, each item does have a limit. Um, I, I don't know if it's... I don't think it's one because um, I think they might have said that explicitly, but uh, each item has a limit. If you hit that limit, that obviously that item won't come out anymore. If you hit all of the limits for the item within a box, that that box color as a whole will no longer show up as well and so you can see the good ones are on the left so if you get a red present box that's happy days for you you get one of those super type scrolls you get a ableberry scroll a super level scroll that's great purple one you get some tokudamas so basically farm to get more chances to get that tokudama so you can play on the gacha for the event um and you know some nice utility items like I could still use some more links there on the right so um, but anyways you know just a quick summary there is pretty self-explanatory boxes are earned on clearing the event quests uh, that are in question and oh I'm awkwardly in between two frames so you're not going to be able to see it really well but um, box color determines the uh, items you can get each item has a limit and uh, like I said once you hit that limit no more from that box now, on top of that, if you open enough boxes, 10 boxes get you that Ramiel, I think, uh, sticker on the left. And opening 20 boxes gets you the Kamael, a uh, good job sticker on the right. So if you want to get those, I mean, just clearing 20 over those three quests is not going to be difficult. So get those boxes and uh, hey, more good job stickers. Although I always stick with my uh, Sailor Mars uh, sticker, tried and true. Um, also, uh, to celebrate the Christmas season, you can also play the old Christmas quest. They will be available for 48 hours um, in the library. You can try to play them if you skip them or miss them for whatever reason last time. Go ahead and finish them. Um, 48 hours. Also, for those of you who are MonPass users, rejoice. You have another reason why you paid that precious money. You can get a special Christmas theme around your name when you do co-op if you want that just go ahead and switch the frame 
and enjoy while it is available for those two weeks from the 17th through the 26th of December. And today's Transcension is going to be Miyamoto Musashi. He finally gets that Transcension and let's see how he looks here. Bam! We've got Super No Gravity Bear, no, bleh, Gravity Barrier, No Wind, Dark Slayer M, Super Strike Shot Turn Reducer. The Strike Shot is a 24 plus 6 explosion on the first enemy. So just the first enemy hits, explodes, but he's still moving around. I do not believe that's a bash style. Um, Bump Combo is a long sword swipe, right? And a Chozetsu slashes. Pierce balanced. Mm, I mean, I won't say I've been a little disappointed. There's not a little more out of him there. Um, you know, maybe we could have gone crazy with that Dark Slayer L. I did kind of like the other form of Miyamoto Musashi a little bit better. Um, but, uh, I don't know. Wind, Barrier, and a Slayer M. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being jaded with all the stuff we've gotten lately, but... Could use a little more oomph, I feel like, but we'll see how he performs. Um, also, if you have the Christmas version of Miyamoto Musashi, you have this form available for you. And I know I get this question once in a while, but if you do not have the Christmas form to begin with, you cannot get this form in any way. Uh, sorry, that's just how the game works. So, um, now of course, these transcensions will always be live on Tuesday at noon, so make sure you look forward to that next week to unlock these new transcensions. And of course, if you are following on YouTube, the Pro League sixth session for the uh, Pro League is going to be this weekend. That's 5 p.m. on the 18th of December. So check it out. It's always fun to see that high level play. And I think that's it. Yep, next news is gonna be Christmas Eve Eve on the 23rd, same time as usual. So tune in here if you wanna get the latest news. And of course, here are the lucky monsters. If you have three of them, you've done your job. Um, you can see Storm is there on the list. So you can, hopefully you got one in the bag already. I'm not so sure about all the rest. Uh, Cause I know I got lazy on the last series. Um, so. Hmm, we'll see. I only have one. Anyways, that's it for me today. If you have any questions with the latest news, let me know. Um, of course, we have the uh, version update that just came out. That video should hopefully be up tomorrow. And, uh, yep, I think that's it. So, thank you for watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, ENG Moss. You can see all of these slides up there to review. Discord channel is also available for you to join and talk with other folks if you would like to do that. And that is it for me today. Thank you for watching and until next time. Bye bye.